All right, if you're like me and you managed to install a Windows with two hard drives in your computer and now when you remove the second hard drive, your Windows will no longer boot, this is a simple fix on how to remove the system reserve partition onto your C drive, allowing to you to now boot Windows with only one hard drive. So basically you open up command prompt in administrator mode and as long as your main drive is your C drive, you type this right here, bcd boot c windows slash sc, this basically moves the system reserve partition onto your C drive. And afterward, as you see here, I have a little written, written guide. You basically hit enter, and you open disk management, and you click on your main C drive. You right click, and you click mark as active. Mine's grayed out because I've already done this fix. And you basically mark it as active, and you reboot your computer. Then at this point, you can pretty much remove your second drive, or what you can do is you can change the partition size. So you know you delete the system reserve down to D drive, and make it to its full size. And Windows will now be able to boot with just your C drive, and D drive you can pop it in or take it out, and it will have no effect. So this is about a one minute long fix, and it'll have your computer working in no time.